Hey YouTube, it's your girl Jazz and I'm back with another video. Tonight's video will be on some summer sandals that I feel like are essential for my ladies. So if y'all want to see the goodies I got, keep on watching. Alright ladies, I know it's been a minute. I like did my little last unboxing and then I just left y'all hanging but I'm here and I'm in the process of packing because I am going on vacation like I mentioned in you know other videos and I thought why not just show some of the shoes that I'm bringing on vacation and merge it with summer essential sandals that I think that are you know you need the girls need so um a lot of fashion houses and even like contemporary brands came out with summer shoes that I thought were so cute because of course I ordered them so I just want to share them with y'all so let's get right into the first one so let me start with the shoes that I got from Macy's really quickly I actually already started wearing these down because they are just so cute is it 4th of July because last time I checked 4th of July was five days ago it is July 9th are people now getting rid of their fireworks like why didn't y'all get rid of it on the 4th are y'all done? Anyways, back to what this video is about. It's just so disrespectful. Alright, so the first pair of shoes are um, these Calvin Klein sandals. And I will have everything linked down below because I don't know the official names of some of these shoes. So I'll just find the links for them so you guys can cop them as well. So these are the Calvin Klein sandals. They're like espadrille styles. I love that it makes the shoe more like dressed down but still cute. Um, what I do with this is I wear it with like a little two-piece set. Like I have a black two-piece set. I don't think I wore it yet or like posted on my Instagram. But I am bringing that up and on vacation and these shoes will be going with it. I have worn these shoes already as mentioned. They are comfortable. I haven't really walked around as much in them. And then I'm going on vacation to like the island so it's not like I'm going to be walking far distances like that but I think these are perfect and they are cute for summer and it has like the right amount of peel I think it's only like two or three inches and like I said it's like an espadrille style so it's not um it doesn't bother my arch or anything like that they are so cute I will show how they look on try it on and yeah love these and I think I paid like $40 for them um, when Macy's had them on sale I know um, DSW has them as well. They do come in a white color also. They come in a gold color and I think a yellow color they come in and of course the black one and a tan color as well. So um, very versatile and yes, love these. Alright, the next pair I got these from Target and it's a similar theme to the... Um, Calvin Klein ones that I got from Macy's but these are from Target this is a tan version um and these strap up of, of course of course I will show you guys how these look as well but this is just a close-up of them I think they're so cute espadrille style and you know they strap up to the ankle calf area and yes I think these are cute I actually did I wear these I'm looking at the, the bottom of the shoe I'm like did I get a chance to wear these but I really don't remember if I wore these or not. But like I said, these are going on vacation with me. So they will be getting worn on vacation. Alright, next one. I had these shoes for a minute now. I got these um, before my birthday. But I figured the color and the style, it's like, why not? And they are, hold on one second. And they are these Coach Scarlet scarlet sandal mules or sandals something like that but um and these are in the bubblegum pink they like are the perfect color to match the um mark jacobs morning glory i did a um review on that unboxing on that on my channel as well a few months back now but i think these are so cute and i feel like these are perfect for summer because you know when you go on summer vacation and stuff like that you're staying at resorts and you're walking on the beach and stuff like that and this shoe because it's a jelly material like even if it gets dirty or sand gets on it all you gotta do is get like a rag and wipe it off and you're good to go so I love these I love the concept of these and these are how much were these 
these were like $129 I think like that but I know Saks had them on sale for I think $91 so it's pretty affordable compared to like the um I know Gucci has a version like this and they have like clear they have a lighter pink um, I think they have purple I know they have black so it's just a cheaper dupe to the um, Gucci um, version of these but I think these are so cute and I have a similar pair from another brand that I will show y'all y'all it's gonna be a lot of samples <laughs> in this haul <laughs> Um, and these are the Madden Girl versions. I actually picked these up in TJ Maxx. And similar concept, jelly sandals, um, mule. And I think these are so cute. Like, why not? And I think I got these for like, what, $35? So cute. And I actually did wear these out to brunch um, this summer too. Alright, next... Let's go to um, Zara. So I did mention these in my um, summer essentials video. I think that was like the um, like about a month now. And so cute. I'm actually bringing these on vacation. I love this color orange. I feel like this will match my Marc Jacobs mini tote perfectly. Actually it does because um, I put them side by side. So I cannot wait to um, wear my outfit with um, you know both of the items. And you know of course I'll post my pictures on the gram for y'all. Um, but yes, I haven't worn these yet, but they are, I like how they look on me because I was kind of hesitant with shoes that my foot just slides in because I'm like, mm, I don't know if my foot is, um, you know, narrow enough because I have wider feet, but these look cute on and of course I will show y'all when I, um, try on all these shoes. But yes, I like these. These are cute. I know they came in a white color and they came like in this yellow color as well, but of course I opted for the orange. Orange is just so cute. So, can't wait to wear these. Um, another that I got from Zara were these dad sandals. And it has like the leopard print. I love these, y'all. Like, when I have pool days in my apartment complex, when my um, homegirls and my homeboys come over and stuff, these are like perfect. Because my swimsuit that I've been wearing is the black one. But I did get some um, other um, swimsuits that I'm going to be wearing on vacation. But, um... These are so cute, so comfortable, and it's like that. It's like perfect for the pool. I don't know about the beach. I am gonna test it out and see how it is, but I feel like the material it will um, withstand, you know, stand, and then like you know, just me um, wiping that off and you know, putting water to it, and you know, it should still be good. And it's the Velcro strap, but I think these are cute. I think it has like about a one and a half inch platform, so it gives you some height so cute so comfortable that's what i love and yes i think i got these for like i think these were like 70 dollars if i'm not mistaken you know zara be taxing sometimes but i just thought these were so cute so yes here's another close-up it's a um leopard detail and it has like a kind of shine to it as well on them but these are so cute and comfy Alright, um, this was the other pair that I got from Target. These are, like, rope sandals are really in, I'm seeing a lot this summer. And, um, I like the color of this. It's like a neutral color. Got these from Target. And they were probably, like, I think $30. But they are comfortable. I've been wearing these, um, this summer. Just with, like, two-piece sets that I have. And I like them. I actually need to pack these. I'm gonna pack these. Because... <laughs> My suitcase is there. It's ready. All these shoes, well, some of these shoes, majority of these cool, these shoes are going with me. So I need to make sure I pack these as well. Cause it's like the, it's like a flat, cute sandal. Um, what else? All right, let's get into some oldies but goodies. Tory Burke sandals. You guys need these. It's <laughs> um perfect for summertime. Um, I wore these like this styles like this so I have this one I have the black version which is this is the leather as well and then I have this like the shiny version I forgot these names but I will link it I know they still sell these these are like essentials that every woman needs um, I wore these walking around in New York up and down um, the streets the blocks whatever no complaints they're just comfortable shoes like I feel like you need these so I have a black version I have a tan 
and then I have this tan and it's like a multicolor um, version and honestly I think these are like the essentials you the the essentials you need like they have silver they have gold they have red they have every color you could think of in Miller's they have it um but these these do it for me because they're the neutrals all right and then um this is from Tory Burch and the other sandals it was like a slide they had but it was still jelly so it was basically like a across here and all of this was gone um and it was the same material here for the platform um i saw these and i just were more drawn to it i, I guess it was more so the colorway as well and they just look cute and y'all one thing i will say these shoes do run big because in toy birch i normally get a size 11 my true size is a 10 and a half but a, once the shoes go past 10 they don't have half sizes like that anymore toy birch does but um I don't know for some I don't know why I didn't get the ten and a half and like my millers and stuff like that. I guess I just wanted that extra space because it's like why not? But um I got these in eleven and y'all so big. Like I tried to make them work, but I was like, no, I put it on the tightest setting and I was like, no, I gotta take these back. So I had a little back and forth because they don't have these in the store, they're only online and when I went to the store to return it, um, of course I had to return it in the store, but then I had to order it all over again because I found out it's not in the store. They never even had this brought to the store. This is like specifically online, which is, I thought it was weird, but whatever. I got my right size now and I think they're so cute and I cannot wait to wear them. I don't think I wore them. Yeah, I didn't wear them. This is the back. But I just love the color. It's like that pretty um, lime green color. I wish I had like, I wanted this Kurt Geiger bag and this lime green. But I told myself no more bags, so I don't need it. I'm just gonna use my um Aldo bag, um, and it's the same color, not green. I hope the color is showing. Let's see. All right, no, it's still not really showing like that. Well, it kind of is, but I will um model these shoes for y'all. I had to dim the light a little bit, y'all, because it was too bright. All right, and then let's get into the luxury. That's the last thing. So. I had these for about a year now. These are essential. You need these in your collection, ladies. And they are the Bomb Dia Mules by Louis Vuitton. So cute, so comfortable. I did not put the soles at the bottom because I'm just like, who's going to see the bottom of my shoes when I'm wearing them anyways? Like, I can put the sole on later on, I guess, if it does become an issue with the shoe. But love these shoes. I remember when I first got them, I was like walking around the house because they were like so hard and... I was like, dang, like, why do they not feel comfortable? But as I wore them out and my feet, like, molded to them, <sighs> these are so comfortable. Love these. Um, I don't have nothing bad to say. They definitely do have wear on it, but these shoes ain't going nowhere. I'm keeping them. I had them for over a year now, and I know in the summer, that's when I wear these a lot, spring, summertime, because, of course, I'm not going to be wearing this in the fall. But, um... These get the job done. I love how this looks with like um, Demir a Ben print. I saw like my Alma BB. I wear this, and then I got my new purse, the um, on the go. Um, y'all should see that picture soon. I think I'm. I think y'all will see it today. If y'all are watching this video today, y'all should see the post already for this with my on the go. But yes, love these. Um, I did size up in these. Like I said, my true size is a um, ten and a half. But I got these in a 42. I could have gotten, because I did get both. I got a 41. And that same night, I seen the 42 was on, was on, was, you were able to add to cart as well. So, um, I was able to buy, buy both. And then I tried them on. And I was like, let me just get the bigger one for comfort. Because I want, because then I could always, like, tighten and adjust these here. Which is what I did. But, yes. So these are the LB Bombardier Mules. I know they had them in like the gold, like the where the black is. It used to be gold there. Didn't even like that concept. I think these are perfect. And yes, love these. All right, and last but not least, the shoe that gave me so much hassle, <sighs> y'all. These Valentino shoes. <sighs> love these. Aren't they beautiful, right? Beautiful shoes, right? I ordered this shoe, what it was, three times? <laughs> so, let me tell you a story about these. So, I ordered these originally from 
Okay, so I got these shoes from Bergdahl Goodman, right? Cute. They um retailed for $6.90. And the thing with these shoes, um, they have a lot of virgin versions. So they have the wedge heel, which is probably like probably five or seven inches high. They have the um, mule that you just slide in. And then they have these sandals. And I thought this one is perfect. This one is more my style. I feel like I'll get more wear out of it. And I'm glad I went with this one. So the gag is with these shoes and that a lot of people didn't realize is the stock photo on the website, um, it's a different colorway. Like it's literally the burgundy, red, and pink. So um, the, the way I found out is because I was on Saks website and I looked at the reviews and people were upset. They were like, these are not the shoes as listed. They were a rainbow. I don't want that. It had the yellow, green, and, the, and I was like, yes, that's exactly what I want. That's what I'm looking for. So um, I was happy about it, but um, of course some people weren't. So um, I did get them from Berg. Dolph Goodman because it was cheaper on there so they retail for $6.90 they had it for like I had I got to use a coupon <clears throat> so I got like 15% off and then um got that order so excited and then um I ordered it from Saks as well how did it go I ordered from Bergdahl because I remember I got both on the I ordered both. So I ordered it from Saks and I ordered it from um, Bergdorf because I wasn't sure because I, I know Saks was the wrong one but I didn't know if um, Bergdorf Goodman was going to bring this one as well because the stock photo was the same as the one on Saks. So I'm like, I don't know, like are they going to give me the real shoe or not? But um, they ended up giving me this one which is what I wanted and I was like, okay, I'll just return the one from Saks because I got that one for the $6.90 and they don't have no 15% off. Um, this one did y'all how about when I ordered when I got my shoes delivered because these both delivered on the same day Saks had a sale up to 30% off so my $690 shoe went down to $543 so you know what I did I asked to get a store not a store credit a price adjustment y'all these people were saying oh um you have up to four days or no seven seven days to um you know do the price adjustment and y'all they wanted to give me a hard time um the first lady was like oh it says that you ordered it on friday no on thursday at this time and i'm like but i was at work at that time how can i order it i ordered it on a friday because i was off that day they said oh well it's showing you ordered on thursday because of course i ordered i called on who's calling me because I called on that um, Friday to, um, you know, inquire about it. Because I'm like, okay, let's see. Just, that'll be easy. So then she was like, oh no, you we can't do it. It's, it's seven days. And I'm just like, but it wasn't. I ordered it on Friday. So Saks put a bad taste in my mouth. So then I said, okay, whatever. So I called again, got another rep. And she was like, she was real cool, real nice. And she was like, honestly, girl, I don't know why it's showing that. Because I do see here. And even on my invoice order, y'all, it says I ordered it on June 3rd. But on the system, it's saying that I ordered it on June 2nd, something like that. So I was just like, whatever. So she was like, honestly, girl, what I would do is just reorder it, make sure they have your size, and then just send these back because that's a big difference. And I was like, it is. You feel me? And she was like, yeah, I don't know what's going on. So I reordered it um, and got that, and I just returned these other two back because the bird burned off Goodman and then the first tax order but I'm so happy I have them after all of that <sighs> tussling your girl got her shoes and I absolutely love them and a lot of my um followers on my page if y'all not follow me at the completed look they love these as well and I just think they are perfect for summer and I have nothing bad to say about these shoes the wedges I just knew they were too high and I was just like, mm-mm, we ain't gonna do it. And then with the um, sandals, it's like the braided part, it was basically two braided parts. And it just looked, I have wide feet, so it just looked like it would be like stuffed with that braided part on. Because I was, re I, was I was, uh, I was, 
I was um watching a video of um this other girl, I can't even think of her um YouTube channel, and she was talking about like how it could be kind of tight in that area. And I was just like, nah, I like these. So um y'all will see me modeling all these shoes. And I hope that y'all enjoyed. I think that's all the shoes, yeah. So I hope y'all enjoy and stay tuned for like the mod shots of me. I got my little pedicure, so my toes looking real cute. But um, I hope y'all enjoy and thank y'all for watching. See y'all in the next one. Love y'all. Bye. I want to know that.